all the kids of the Boys and Girls Club of the Sioux Empire are going to have a place where they can come and and learn how to sing and learn how to play keyboards and learn how to play guitar and drums. You know, when you hear the, the term garage rock, that was us. We were the generation that just started in the garage. We listen, we'd sit and listen to Beatle records all day, listen to Rolling Stones, and then try to learn all that stuff. We, there was never a thought of a place like this. And there were very few places to, even if your band did get together, to even play. It's going to be a high-end facility that nobody can even pay to go to in, in any of these bigger markets. And it's going to be right here in Sioux Falls, and it's going to be for all you kids of the Boys and Girls Club. You're going to be the cool kid in school right now when you figure out how to play the drums, you know? You, you take one kid and take him out of a gang and, and put him in a band, and you change the neighborhood. You don't just change that kid, you change the whole neighborhood. And, I mean, you know... Every single city's got, I don't care where you are, has got a problem with gangs, guns, and drugs. It's everywhere. So, you know, you got to start really young, 13, 14 years old. You start a kid in music at 13, 14, he's not going to be in jail or dead by the time he's 17. You know, so you got to start early and get him involved in it. You know, it's a, the only reason they get into gangs is when they have nothing else. So you got to give them something else, give them an alternative. And that's what this is. It's an alternative.